So this is an example of what I saw at that vendor last week that we had their truss hung in their showroom with aircraft cable and shackles and everything was wrong. The only thing that was right was the span set around the truss. I'm using this Apple box as a representative and I didn't do a hitch, but they did do a fairly decent hitch with multiple wraps around all four cords of the truss and then it all fails at this point. This is how they had their shackle and they had the two legs of the span set tied into the pin. And again, what that's going to do under load is pull that pin apart. I don't think they had this big of a shackle. This is just what I had as representative. They had aircraft cable, no thimble. They had two malleable clips on each position. They were installed correctly with the saddle on the live line. And then at the top point, same thing, two malleable clips and a no thimble into an eye bolt. And then that eye bolt was attached to Unistrut. And again, Unistrut isn't rated for overhead rigging. It's designed for installing conduit and plumbing and that sort of thing, not to be under the load of rigging. And I have no way of knowing that they actually secured that piece of Unistrut into anything structural like steel above the plaster ceiling. Malleable clips require three at each point, not two, and malleable clips are not considered safe for overhead rigging. In fact, they are explicitly prohibited in counterweight fly systems by ANSI regulations. Now this installation at this vendor was a dead hung thing, so it's not actually a counterweight fly system, so the counterweight fly system rule by ANSI probably doesn't apply, but all of the manufacturers of malleable clips say malleable clips are not for critical installations, and we would consider any overhead load, dead hung or counterweight fly system in a theater, in a showroom, in any location that we're doing theatrical entertainment work, that is a critical installation. So no, 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 no to malleable clips. I just pulled these off of some old rigging and I'm going to throw them away, but I wanted to use them for this demonstration. I'm not going to keep these malleable clips in house. So everything was wrong except for the span set attached to the truss. It was one of the preferred methods. I can't tell you which one. I don't do a lot of span sets to truss work and there are dozens and dozens of attachment methods of hitching it to your various cords on your truss. It did look like a good strong hitch. It just failed at the shackle point. You gotta turn that shackle around, people. You gotta turn that shackle around. And I was initially suspicious. I was like trying to figure out how did they get the thimble over the ends of that because the thimble would never go over the ends of even a smaller shackle for quarter inch cable. And then I realized, well, that's because they didn't use a thimble. All right, now this is better. It's almost fixed here. The shackle is now oriented the correct way. The point of this bell part of the shackle is to attach two or three or multiple points where they are going to apply forces at different directions. The pin is designed to have a single point in a single direction, not multiple points. You should never be putting two points on your pin. The thimble is now attached. Now we are not putting a pinch point pressure on our cable. We've got now this gentle curve that's designed for the cable to help with all the stress and carry that stress around that joint. I'm still using two malleable clips. I should have three and I should actually remove my malleable clips altogether and use forged clips only. Other than the malleable clips, it's all correct at this point. And then up here, same thing. You'll notice there are two different types of thimbles. This is your regular quarter inch thimble and the other one on the other end is your heavy duty quarter inch thimble. So use either one, whichever you prefer and whichever is appropriate for your application. The wire rope clips are saddled correctly on the live line. One of the other reasons I think use of wire rope clips is just a bad decision in theater is because they're also recommended to be installed at a certain torque. And in 35 years in theater, I don't think I have ever seen anyone with a torque wrench torquing their wire rope clips down to the manufacturer's recommendations. If you're not going to do that, you probably shouldn't be using them. Here's a chart of some common methods of attaching your span set to your truss. There's so many possibilities, but you'll notice if we look closely at any one of these, all of them have the shackle with the bell down and the pin up. The bell is down because you've got the two points of the span set connecting to the shackle. It has to be this way. It can't be the other way around and some alternate diagrams attaching truss to a chain motor. Also have the shackle, bell down, pin up, 
And now that I look at this image, I seem to think that their rigging was closer to that third image, which has too shallow of an angle for their span sets connecting to their shackle. Instead of taking your thousand pound load and spreading it out between the two legs, because you're using that steeper angle, as that angle gets shallower, you reach a point where both legs are each carrying the full load of whatever is on that truss rather than splitting it between the two legs. And I think that even gets worse if we go below 30 degrees.